The basic idea of branching or skip logic in Question Pro has to do with how questions may either be included or excluded from a respondent's question sequence depending upon how they answer. For instance, an answer of yes to question 3 might make question 4 irrelevant, and similarly, an answer of no to question 7 might require some further information from the respondent. Bob and Terry's Ice Cream Company wants to ask their customers several specific questions about the chunkiness of their new Sgt. Peppermint flavor. Since Bob and Terry are concerned only with the responses of people who like chunks in their ice cream, we'll use branching to ask only those respondents the subsequent question set. To do so, we'll click on the Add Update Logic button of the question to which we'd like to add our logic, and with Branching Skip Logic chosen, we'll click Set Up Logic. If respondents choose Chunky or No Preference, we'll have No Branching so that they can continue through the next set of questions about chunkiness. If the respondents choose Smooth, we'll tell Question Pro to drop those users down to the final question of the survey by using the question code of the survey's last question. Other options of where a branched question can lead include the termination of the survey, which is typically used if a respondent's profile turns out not to fit your criteria, the thank you page, which will count the survey as a completed response, or you could take advantage of the chain survey use option. Now, update branching information and close to exit back to your survey. Once the logic has been added, you'll notice a little cross mark next to the add update logic button to indicate that this question now has logic associated with it. You can review, edit, or add to the logic by clicking into the add update logic button and clicking on your current logic. You may also want to take a test run through your survey at this point. Piping is a tool that can be used in conjunction with branching. With piping, you can drill into specific responses for more information without having to bother the respondents for whom the questions would be irrelevant. I've created a question here so that Bob and Terry can find out from those respondents who have adamant feelings about the mint chocolate chips in Sgt. Peppermint what it is that they love or can't stand about the chips. This snippet of code here will populate this question with data from the previous question. Looking at the previous question, you'll see that I'm telling Question Pro to move ahead with the survey if the respondent's answer is I like or I don't like, but to populate the next question with this respective text if they choose the love or can't stand option. You'll want to note that when branching is set up for a question, automatic logic breaks are inserted. These breaks work in the same way as page breaks and are necessary for branching to function properly. For an overview of your logic setup, go to the Logic Quota tab of the Global Settings menu. Here at the Global Logic Configuration menu, you'll have the options of Removing All Branching Logic. This is for removing all logic from the entire survey. You can check your logic for exceptions or violations, view logic criteria, or you can open up a flowchart, a visual representation of your logic. For a more in-depth look at the features discussed here, search branching, piping, or logic from the Question Pro knowledge base.